Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. And today we're going to just mention briefly when we are building complex data pipelines when the scripts gets more complex. So as soon as the data tools that we are building grow into something bigger than a simple script, it's useful to split data pre-processing pre -processing tasks into small units in order to map all the steps and dependencies dependencies of the data pipeline. Uh, with the term data pipeline, we intend a sequence of data processing operations, which cleans, augments, and manipulates the da original data, transforming it into something digestible by the analytics engine. Any non-trivial data analytics project will require a data pipeline that is composed of a number of steps. Uh, in the prototyping phase, it is common to split these steps into different scripts, which are then run individually. For example, as you can see in the bold, the first three steps are here, mentioned here, where you do something like python download some data.py script then you have the clean some data script and then you have augment some data script so each script in this example produces the output for the following script so there are dependencies between the different steps we can refactor data processing scripts into a large script that does everything and then run it in one go so if you have for example this script that does everything and the contents of, of it will be like this so each of the preceding functions will contain the main logic of the initial individual scripts the problem with this approach is that errors can occur in the data pipeline pipeline so we should also include a lot of boilerplate code with try and accept to have control over the exceptions that might occur moreover parameterizing this kind of code might feel a little clumsy so in general when moving from prototyping to something more stable it's worth thinking about the use of a data orchestrator also called workflow manager a good example of this kind of tool in python is given by luigi an open source project introduced by spotify the advantages of using a data orchestrator such as luigi includes the following task templates which are and each task data task is defined as a class with a few methods that define how the task runs its dependencies and its output and then you have dependency graph which is a visual tool tools assist the data engineer to visualize and understand the dependencies between tasks recovery from intermediate failure if the data pipeline fails halfway through the tasks, it's possible to restart it from the last consistent state. And there's an integration with command line interface as well as system job schedulers such as cron job. And then you have customer customizable error reporting. So we're not going to dig into all the features of Luigi as a detailed discussion would uh, go beyond the scope of these tutorials but the viewers are encouraged to take a look at this tool and use it to produce a more elegant reproducible and easily maintainable and expendable data pipeline so that's it for this video and in the next section we are going to start to mine twitter get some action going so hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. Thank you.